Ruben Lenton and Aaron Hadlow, the most extreme kite surfer on the planet and the multiple kite surf world champion. Join them on their trip around the globe, on the best beaches, at the hottest events and the most exciting locations. A video diary chock full of action and incredible stories. The boys are on the loose. Here's what happened in the last episode. Ruben and Aaron in Cape Hatteras. Each year, the Triple S event is the highlight of the season. Endless sessions on the most spectacular sliders in the world. In addition, kiteboarding's wildest parties ever. Jacksonville, North Carolina. From here, Ruben and Aaron are planning a road trip down the American East Coast. Along for the ride is their friend Susie May. The only one who's missing is Ruben. How's it going, dude? You good? It's going to be rad. Dude, this is sick. A little slider, going to take, take with us the whole way. Got a winch. I've ridden the winch a little bit before. It feels pretty good if you can get it up high. This is awesome. Our sponsors didn't want to be outdone. The guys in the truck are going to be with us for the entire week. But we're definitely going to be traveling American style. Yo, bro, what's up? What's up, man? You good? Good to see you, buddy. Let's check the inside. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, y'all. This is awesome. It's Got like some a chill. band. It's like we're a band and we're touring. Rock stars. <laughs> Full double bed back at the back. No way around, you're going to be for the rest of this one. For us, being on the road trip means starting out with a seven hour ride on the motorway. Ruben missed his plane, so we'll pick him up in Chucktown. From there, we'll head from one spot to the next. This is for sure going to be a fun week. Yeah, you made it! I made it, Woo! just about though. <laughs> Oh, you good? Hey, are you good? Well, good what is not a, a word, but sunstroke, <laughs> travels, delays, I'm dead. Yeah. Mandatory champagne drinking, I couldn't take it. <laughs> Just recovering slowly. Now we got down to the wake park where we will be hanging for the morning. Uh, so I'm basically going to open my bags and check what I got. I think I brought a wakeboard, but I forgot the stickers again, you know? When you're traveling, you always forget something, you know? But stickers from your sponsors, that's a bad thing. <laughs> Wakeboarding, it's just going a bit faster, and if you're in trouble, it's like, okay, you're gonna go down either way. There's no safe, safe escape, but it should be fun anyways. Aaron is gonna go for a ride right now together with Davey, so go check those bitches out. Davey is a local here. Not only is he a cool guy, but he's got some friends with a sick wakeboarding boat. We should be able to have some fun on that. My problem is that I can't even have a quick warm-up session. As soon as I hit the water, I've just got to go all out. He thinks it's too dry, and as we all know, that doesn't always work so well. It's better Let's when stop. it's wet. Well, move! Wow, look at that guy's muscles. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so sad. <laughs> that looked pretty painful. Pretty Did you feel that one on your head? On my back. On your back. Yeah, Aaron's basically going to try a 7, which is a 720 rotation, is it? 720? <laughs> um, a 7 is two handle passes off the kicker. So you got to like, it's a little bit different because you got to rotate super fast. And your first pass has to be like really early so that you can get the second one in. It's pretty hard. He tried a flat 7. That's what he tried in Norway in the snow. He can do it on the snow, but not on the water. What is this? Help me. Yeah. Dude, I just couldn't deal with it today. It was just so harsh. Like, yeah, I was so close every time, but just, oh, by the end, I was just too tired to pull it. So it goes. Don't cry, Ezra. 
Uncle Ruben is going to show you how it's done. I used to think this slider stuff was totally boring, but since Aaron has been so into it lately, being on the rails all the time has been unavoidable for me too. And it started to be a lot of fun. Thanks a lot, guys. It was an epic day. There's a lot going on here in the evenings, and you can play pool in the bar too. I'm in the team with Ezra. Dave, you want to play with Susie? On the pool table. Play with Susie on the pool table? Easy. All over it. I nearly always win at pool. Usually I'm on Aaron's team a lot. In England, kids start playing when they're five years old. Ezra is almost as good with a cue as he is with a kite. We're just gonna take it easier. Oh, Susie, so close. Don't get too excited, Rubes. Hey, that's cheating. Relax, check this out. The classic look away on the eight ball. Then the fat lady can sing. That's just ridiculous. Road trips are cool, but we probably could have chosen a smaller country to do ours in. We've got to drive four hours to get to our next stop, Tybee Island. It's a good shallow water spot here. Finally, some proper kiting again. Good wind, good weather, small waves. I still love freestyle, but once there's a rail involved, it's even more fun. Nice, the guys are setting up our mobile rail. This thing is pretty cool. A bit small, but we can have some fun for sure. We are off again in our luxury RV, and the guys with the equipment aren't far behind. Going good, guys. Whoa, St. Augustine Beach. Yeah, what's up, man? Hey, you right, how dude? you doing? Yeah, I'm looking forward to hit the winter sun with the wakeboard, hit the kicker, do some moves. There aren't many alternatives. There's not even a little bit of wind here in St. Augustine. Freaking boiling. Um, tied the end of the winch off to the end of the pier over there and then instead of dragging it all the way back he's gonna ride, ride it like a lawnmower. <laughs> oh my god, that's so fun. <laughs> the motor pulls you at a constant speed along the beach and it's really not that easy but hey, this local dude is making it look really good. Alright, let's see what the boys can do. Hey, that looks pretty good, Aaron. Nah, oh well. This is your hand, dude. Oh yeah, I was just trying to shove it, so like, I'll definitely miss the board, because I don't really do that sort of stuff. <laughs> so I landed and went, woo, Superman, dunk! Ow. Maybe Ruben's got a bit more talent than me. If he crashes, it will be as spectacular as always. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> got a whipper. <laughs> Boom! Oh, dude, that's what I meant with the timing. It was so hard to time. Like, the wave already... Broken. Yeah, broke, and then I had to hit the white one. I was like, I might as well do it, otherwise I don't jump at all. <laughs> and then at the end, like, boom, big face smacker. It wasn't so far away, but he caught an edge pretty bad. So, dude, this winch is pretty fun, eh? Thanks for the pool. How does it actually work? It's basically like a lawnmower engine, kind of hooked together with a spool, 1,000 feet of line, turn it on, throttle up. 1,000 feet, that's a pretty good run, huh? You can get even longer, dude. You can get like 2,000 feet. No it's way. like a little old. We tied it back together. We keep kind of breaking it and fixing it. It's so. a lot of work for a run, but it's a lot of fun. Nice view here at the beach. 
Whoa, very nice. This girl's gonna give it a try. She like wants to kiteboard, but she already wakeboards, so let's see how this is gonna turn out. Well, are you wakeboarding as well? Yeah. Yeah. But I've never done that. All right. You're gonna give it a go? Depends on how good she does, I guess. Ah. There she goes. Hi. Cruising. Nice try, though. <laughs> yeah, you should go as well. <laughs> Come on, give it a shot. Might as well. Check, the chick is going. She's making it. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Typical Ruben, his own little bikini fashion show. St. Augustine is a cool city, not the usual type of town you'll often find in the States. We should see what else it has to offer. Crocodile Dundee, mate. Come on, then. I'll stick my hat right in that thing. Oh, that's a cracker. <laughs> Let's check out these gators, man. I just read they have, like, a, a white one, an albino uh, gator. That's going to be hilarious. I'm going to love it, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, here it is. <laughs> albino gator. Kaboom. Dude, they look crazy. Touch on. Hell no. The water's edge, so first, I don't want to be anywhere top, near them. Running along their backs actually have bone underneath them. She's Follow bloody crazy. I wouldn't be around. sat in there. What we the also fuck? Follow them. That's why it's a little loud out Quit there. Quit staring at me. Fuck. Now, freaking me hurt. out. Right up my street. <laughs> uh, but I'm not shitting all over the place. I do. It smells so bad. Oh. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Dude, normally birds don't smell that bad. Well, this one that I took home. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they're so funny. But it smells so bad. Let's get, let's get out of here. in the next episode of On The Loose. Today, I'm making my World Cup comeback, but it's just for the day, and only as a spectator.